With all that we know now about head trauma and concussions, how is fighting still allowed? I, I think that, that, first of all, fighting is not allowed. It's penalized. It's a very small part of the game. Uh, fighting, I think, is at its lowest level ever. I think it's down 30 percent over get last year. Fully and ejected the, from a the, game the, as you would if the, you were in another sport. You get penalized. You go to but, the penalty but, box, but, but that's it's like, still part of the game. It, it's a small part of the game, and the game evolves. And if you ask the players, they wouldn't change that rule. And our competition committee is involved, which includes the players, in deciding what the rules of the game are and are not. Uh, but I think when it comes to matters of safety and where concussions come from, uh, I think there's way too much focus and emphasis unduly on the issue of fighting. Well, because it's so obvious. It's two guys who well, stop the game to drop their gloves and go at it. And what percentage of our games do you think have fights in them? Any percent, I think, is too much. Well, that may be in your opinion, but it's a small percent that isn't, I don't even think it's 30% of our games. 70% of our games typically don't have a fight in them, uh, and the role of the fighter has been reduced dramatically.